Hey, how's it going guys? It's Tanner here and welcome back to another Ninjago Season 9 video here on the channel. Um, as I'm sure you guys know, we got an official trailer for Ninjago Hunted the other day. Hunted is the official name of the season, Season 9, coming out very, very soon, um, at least in Australia. I have no idea when it's coming out in the United States, but nonetheless, uh, I'm really excited for this season and I know a lot of you guys are as well. So I figured today I would carry on the uh, streak of Season 9 videos for you guys here on the channel by talking about my top five hopes for Ninjago Hunted. Of course, I did this for season eight a while back and a lot of you guys really did like that video, so that's why we're doing it again. Just remember that everything I say in this video is 100% my opinion and of course, being my top five hopes, they do not have to be your top five hopes. What I hope for in this season may be different than what you hope for and some of the priorities that I feel need to be met may not be your opinion. So just keep that in mind as you watch this video. Of course, after the video is over, feel free to leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. But of course, with all that being said, let's get right into it and take a look at my top 5 hopes for Ninjago Season 9. So starting off in the number 5 spot, I hope that the dragons in Season 9 will be used effectively. We saw in the trailer that the ninja will be, I guess, teaming up with new dragons and what we're used to. Not really elemental dragons, but they are more in line with the original dragons that we saw uh, way back when during Ninjago's pilot season and of course during the first season. But yeah, the dragons in the first realm look extremely different, and I can't wait to see how they actually are used, and I hope that they are used effectively. We know from watching the Season 9 trailer that they do hold some sort of elemental power, and we also know that dragons such as the Firstborn Dragon exist, so I hope that those dragons will either push the dragon narrative forward to actually make them important and relevant, and if not, I think I will be a little disappointed because this season does appear to be taking a large influence from dragons. Coming in in the number four spot, we have the dragon keepers actually getting development. So one of my worries for season nine, and we'll get into more of this later, but one of my worries is that the season will feel a little imbalanced, uh, partially because of the uh, overabundance of villains that we actually have. We of course still have Garmadon and the sons of Garmadon, uh, including Harumi and uh, such generals such as Mr. E. And part of me worries that the Dragon Keepers won't really get that much screen time because we do have so much left over from the other season. Which, if the Dragon Keepers are to be a formidable opponent and uh, the show wants to express that they are really powerful and that they do matter, I think it would be a good idea to actually give them some development and screen time. Judging by the trailer, the season does appear to be split half and half, so having the Dragon Keepers not get their own season already is a little bit worrying to me, especially because every other villainous force uh, got at least one season to themselves. And while the Sons of Garmadon were developed enough as it is in Season 8, I am worried that they uh, will be taking away from the Dragon Keepers. Coming in in the number 3 spot, we actually have the continuation of the relationship between Lord Garmadon and Lloyd. As I'm sure you all know, Lord Garmadon is back after the events of Season 8, and in Season 9 he will be sort of fighting the Resistance led by his son Lloyd, which already makes for some interesting interactions between the two characters, and they uh, kind of continue that from Season 8. During Sons of Garmadon we actually saw them fight head on, and it is pretty heartbreaking to watch because of course Garmadon is not the Garmadon that we know and love. This version of Garmadon is an empty shell who really only cares about conquering Ninjago and nothing more. So I feel like Lloyd could actually grow from this as well, and who knows what the deal is with Garmadon, maybe he'll come back, maybe he won't, but in the end we don't really know until the season actually comes out, and I hope that Garmadon and Lloyd do grow as characters and build off of each other. So we are talking about a lot of development in this season, and number two on my list is actually the development of Master Wu. Of course, like Garmadon, Master Wu did come back during season eight, but in a different form, or rather a different stage, because as I'm sure you all know, uh, Master Wu is actually currently a baby and he is actually growing older as season nine progresses. As we saw from the trailer, he is uh, a child at one point. And of course there are rumors that he will grow into the mysterious golden samurai. And if that's the case, I really do hope that the season capitalizes on that and sort of centers around Master Wu. We really haven't seen Master Wu have his own, I guess, dedicated season to him. Of course he has been important in other seasons before and he's always been a pivotal character, but this season is supposed to be his season I'd imagine. So what I would like for them to do is actually build on his character a little bit more and explore some areas that we really haven't seen from Master Wu. And finally, in the number one spot, we actually have balance. So balance is key in any form of media. Um, if a thing is too, I guess, overcrowded with characters, it tends not to go so well, unless it's Avengers Infinity War. And who knows, maybe Ninjago Season 9 will join the club of things that are overstuffed, but somehow are still good. Judging from what we've seen from Season 9 so far, it's hard for me to say that I'm not worried about the balance between the two storylines. For those of you who are not aware, we actually have two storylines going in this season, the first of which involves Lloyd and Garmadon, 
and pretty much everything that's going on in Ninjago after Season 8. And the second involves the ninja in the Oni and Dragon Realm, basically trying to fight for their lives against the Dragon Keepers. I think it's interesting that Ninjago is going this route and actually developing two storylines at once. This is something that really hasn't been done before, and while I like the experimenting that's going on with this season, again, it's hard to say that I'm not worried. I'm sure everything will be fine though as the Hegmans are back writing this season, and if we know anything about the Hegmans writing it's that they can actually take a story and make it comprehensible and enjoyable to watch. So in reality, while I am still worried, I think it's safe to say that Ninjago Season 9 is in good hands and I think we'll be fine. So with that being said, that'll just about do it for this video. This was my top 5 hopes for Ninjago Hunted. If you enjoyed, feel free to give this video a thumbs up rating. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember that the comment section is yours for any discussions you want to have regarding this topic. Or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.